So Rose, we, we of course wanted to do this in person and, and take you out for, for a lunch or a drink or a hang, you know, and give you a big hug, but nobody wants to do that these days. So <laughs> we have to do it this way. Thank you for being so patient. This, uh, this is a big one. You um, wrote the song with Johnny Wright. The title of the track is The Benefits of Being Alone, which reached the CBC Music Top 20 on February 6th, 2020. It has a fabulous video to accompany it. I was just watching it again this morning. The track is from your um, your album Bravado, which just this week got nominated for a Juno Award um, in the category of Contemporary Roots Album of the Year. So congratulations big time this week. Thank you so much. Um, let's crack it open. Yeah. So cool. That's pretty That's cool, awesome. You guys. Congratulations, Rose. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. It's kind of ironic that a song called The Benefits of Being Alone was actually a co-write with the Johnny Wright. Can you talk a little bit about how that happened? I had started to go back to England in, I think, 2019. I'd had the idea in my head that I wanted to write a song called The Benefits of Being Alone. Nobody writes from the perspective of of the actual benefits of being alone. It's like, you know, well, it's good to be like in a relationship and blah, blah, blah. But I'm just kind of like, it's actually, you know, it's, it's actually also okay to be single and be okay with it. And I was going to England and I asked my publishing company to, if there was anyone there that would be a good match for me to write. Cause I had a couple of extra days and they matched me with this fellow named Johnny Wright. And so I took a train to his place in the country. It was beautiful. And on the drive from the train station, we established that we had several mutual friends um, one of which was Gabe Minikin, who's from here and sang at his wedding. And so oh. um, we just had a wonderful like two hours of conversation that had nothing to do with songwriting and just kind of like getting to know each other. And then I don't know what it was in the alignment, probably then my, my, maybe my quick comfort with him. He's like, what do you want to write about today? And I said, and I also very rarely, I'd actually, this might be the first time I went into a co-write, even with the thought in mind that the song might be for me. There's been a couple of times when I've gone into co-writes and it's turned out to be a song I could sing. And I'd be like, maybe that could be a Rose Cousin song. But this one was, I don't know, something about the something about with the way that Johnny kind of made the environment feel. I was just like, I want to write a song about called The Benefits of Being Alone. And he's like, let's do it. Then what happened, it was almost like I'd given myself this permission and then reflected it to him. And he's like, yeah, let's do it. So he just played the piano for... I, I, I want to think I went into like a zone for 45 minutes and I just barfed all the lyrics and he was like tinkering on the piano and would check in with me. He's like, is it still okay for me to be doing this? And I'm like, yeah, that's great. And it was amazing. It was like, just like the faucet opened. I'd been thinking about it for such a long time. Um, so barfed all the lyrics down and then went over to him on the piano and what the stuff that he was playing, it was kind of like, I was like, this feels like a Randy Newman ish song because Randy Newman is good at, sadness and happiness played sadly, but also juxtaposition, like tongue in cheek. And that was what it was turning out to be. And that's kind of what it was in, in, in my head. And then I just had this thought of like, I'd love to hear this in kind of a Nick Lowe version because Nick Lowe is also very good at tongue in cheek, sad song played happily. <laughs> So yeah, I just asked the band, I said, let's just try it. Like, what would it sound like if we set, if we, if we like turned into Nick Lowe's band? Um, and that's, and that's the version that starts the record off. So it was a really fun journey and, um, you know, fun for me to kind of, cause my catalog is so, you know, morose, <laughs> melancholy. Um, it was fun to, in all, in all ways, while taking myself seriously, taking myself less seriously, 